What is the Ark of the Covenant? A vessel of mystery, a symbol of divine presence. Crafted as per God's command, the Ark was a sacred container holding the tablets inscribed with the Ten Commandments. Its purpose. As Exodus 25.22 declares, There, above the cover between the two cherubim that are over the Ark, I will meet with you and give you all my commands. According to Exodus 25.10 and 22, it was made of acacia wood, overlaid with gold, and adorned with cherubim atop its mercy seat, an awe-inspiring sight, a tangible link to God's commandments. But where is it now? The Ark's fate remains a mystery, lost to time after the fall of Solomon's temple. Its last known location was within the Holy of Holies in Solomon's temple. Legends whisper of its power, claiming that whoever possesses the Ark gains control beyond measure of nations, elements, and even the world itself. Yet many believe that wherever it may be, God ensures its concealment, revealing it only to those whom he deems worthy, those with righteous authority and humility. The transition of the Ark from Moses to King Solomon, while not explicitly detailed in the Bible, represents a significant link. Moses, following divine instructions, oversaw its crafting, a sacred centerpiece for the Israelites during their desert odyssey. As Solomon erected the Grand Temple in Jerusalem, following traditions laid down by Moses, the Ark found its new dwelling within the Holy of Holies. Its transfer, though not explicitly documented, resonated in Solomon's dedication of the Temple. Exodus 25, 10, 22 and 1 Kings 8, 1 to 11. The Bible holds sacred the construction and placement of the Ark, a symbol of divine presence and covenant between God and His people, a legacy passed down from Moses to King Solomon. The Ark's journey, a silent passage through time, its transfer from hand to hand lost in the echoes of history. The choice to unravel its mysteries. The choice is yours.